it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to show you three different ways to add text over an image in Elementor. This is something that I get asked pretty often so I wanted to make a video that went over three different ways to do this because with a lot of things in web design there are multiple ways you can achieve the same effect. As you can see on my page that's opened up in Elementor I have three different images with text overlays. The first one is just using the Elementor image widget and an Elementor heading widget. The second one is using a background image and an Elementor heading widget. And this third option here is using the flip box, which does this cool effect when you hover over it. So in this tutorial, I'm going to just walk you through exactly how I achieved these three different effects. So I have a section underneath and I'm just going to start adding some images and text to my containers. So I'm going to go to my widgets and I'm going to drag over an image widget to the first container. I'm just going to set my image. Now I'm going to go back to my widgets and I'm going to drag over a heading underneath. I'm just going to type in London in here and then I'm going to center this. Now what I need to do is adjust the margin of this so that it goes over top of the image. So in order to do that, I'll click on advanced then I'm going to change this margin to percentage because right now it's on pixels. I'm going to change that to percent. And then I'm going to unlink them. And for the top margin, I'm going to do a negative margin. So it's just going to bring that over top of the image. Now, if your text is not being shown over top of the image, you might need to adjust the Z index down here. Mine was working fine, but if it's not showing up, you might have to adjust this in order to get the layers to stack on top of each other properly. So just keep that in mind. Let's go back to the style tab just so we can adjust things to make this a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to change the color to white and then I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger and we'll adjust the weight to bold. I'm just going to go back to my advanced tab and just add a little bit more of a margin to get it more centered. The last thing that I'm going to do is darken this image just slightly so that the text is a little more readable. As you can see up here, it's a little bit darker so you can see the word London better. So I'm just going to click on my image, go to style, and I can achieve that by using one of the CSS filters. So if I click on that and just adjust the brightness slightly, you can see that it does get a bit darker and we can see the word London better. So that's the first way that you can achieve this effect of getting text over an image. This way does have a couple limitations uh, because you are limited to how big your image is inside of that container. The second way that I'm going to talk about now is doing it with a background image. And as you can see here, this is a little bit taller and that's because we have a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to adjusting a background. So let me show you. Instead of dragging over an image widget, I'm just going to edit my container. I'm going to go to style and under background, I'm just going to upload my background image here. I've inserted my background image and now we need to make a couple of adjustments. So I'm going to adjust my positioning to center, center. I'm going to change the repeat to no repeat. And I'm going to adjust the size to cover and that will make it so that we can see all of the image. Now in order to get the text over top of this, we'll need to drag over a heading into this container. So I'm going to go back to my widgets, drag over a heading and we'll do the same thing that we did on the first one. 
So I made some adjustments to my text to make it a little bit more readable. And you'll notice that now we have this kind of gap where we don't really see the image. Uh, so what I need to do is add some padding around this text here in order to make the entire section bigger. So we're going to click on that, go to advanced, and I'm just going to add, let's try 60 pixels of padding. I think we can add a little bit more. Let's do 80 instead. And that's looking pretty good. We can see the entire image and everything is centered, looking nice. Uh, the last thing that I want to do with this background image is just add a background overlay. So again, we can make that text a little bit more readable. So I'm going to go back to my style tab and under background, we have background overlay. I'm going to select color and then I'm going to set that to black. So I'm going to set the color to black and then I'm just going to adjust the opacity down a bit so that we can just better see the text over this image. So now we know how to achieve this effect using the image and heading widget and also using a background image and a heading widget. The third and final way that I'm going to show you how to add text over an image is a little bit more fun because it does it when you hover over it. And that is using the flip box. So I'm going to click on this container, go to my widgets, and I'm going to add in a flip box here. Now looking at the flip box out of the box, you can see that it's not really what we want just yet. So we have to make a few adjustments to this. I'm just going to get rid of this icon and get rid of this title and description because we don't really need that for the front of the image. We just want it to show the word London when we hover over it. Now I'm going to go to background. You'll see that there's a tab for content and then a tab for background. And under background, that's where we'll add our image. Now that we've added our image, we do need to make some adjustments because just like the second option, this flip box is also using a background image to achieve the effect. So we're going to adjust the positioning, the repeat, and the size. So we're looking pretty good now, but we have to do the back so we can have it hover and say the word London. So we're going to adjust the settings for the back of the box. Again, I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to change this to say London, and then we'll remove this description completely and we can remove this button. Now what's cool about this is you can add this in if you want. If you wanna have a button that links to a different page, if you want to add some more text, you can do all of this within the Flipbox widget. So it's pretty cool. For this example, I'm just going to show you how to achieve the effect that we've achieved up here. Okay, so now that we have the word London, we have to go again to background on the back side of this widget and add our background image again. Again, we'll make the adjustments that we need in order to get the entire image to show. And I'm going to go to the style tab again and add some adjustments to the London text. So now we can see that the word London is showing over top of the image on the back side the last thing that I'm going to do is again adjust that background overlay so we can see the words a little bit better over top of the image. I'm actually going to go back to content and then I'm going to click on the front background because here we can set a background overlay. It's a little bit different than what we did previously but it works similarly. So we're going to set our color but then in here, we just need to adjust the slider so that it's transparent here. So it's not a separate opacity slider like we saw in the last example. We have to just adjust it here, but it works the same way. I'm just going to copy this and then go to back, 
click background and I'll just paste this in here so that it's exactly the same. And you can see if we go back to the front and then we hover over it, it does change there. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something and found it helpful when creating your Elementor site. If you like videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we publish new tutorial videos here every week and we love to have you join the community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.